It's All Gravy with Teresa. Hi, y'all. This is Teresa, and you are watching It's All Gravy with Teresa. Uh, I want to say good day to you. We're in Bowling Green, Kentucky at our home, and it is a gorgeous day. Uh, the birds are singing, and the bugs are singing, and uh, just a beautiful day. The temperature is down right now. I think we're supposed to get pretty warm, but the humidity uh, has pretty much leveled off, so uh, my hair doesn't look like a bushel basket today. Uh, so we are just enjoying life today. Um, first and always, I want to say thank you all so much. Uh, thank you for liking, sharing, viewing uh, our page. Uh, thank you for following us. Uh, we are almost, we're over 1,500, I think, uh, for followers. When we get to 2,000, we'll be giving away another t-shirt. It's all gravy with Teresa. Um, we'll be giving that away. We're also on YouTube now. And I think last week we were at 70-something. Uh, we are really wanting to get to 1,000. Uh, and you have to subscribe, which is a little bit of trouble because it was for me when I went the first time because you have to remember what your uh, email address is and your password, uh, which I had to go reset my password. Uh, so it is a little bit of trouble, and I appreciate you all going to that trouble and to subscribing for us. When we get to a thousand, that's going to open a few more doors for us uh, where we can do more with this program. Um, I also uh, want to thank you for, um, like I said, for watching, for telling your friends, for cooking the recipes, and for letting us know how they turned out. Uh, for adding your own twist. There's been quite a few people who have uh, written back and told us they love that recipe, but this is what I do with it. And uh, that's exactly what we want. We want people talking about the old time recipes that people my age uh, and a little bit older grew up with that have kind of just uh, fell off our radar because everybody has been so busy that we have uh, done takeout so much. So. Uh, these recipes that we're trying to find are just the old-timey basic stuff that kept us alive back in the day. Uh, and they're, they're so good because you put your own spin on it. And when my children or my grandchildren, I hear them say, Man, my mom makes the best chicken and dumplings. Or my mom makes the best chocolate pie I ever ate. Or uh, my kids like... Um, Red velvet cake. Uh, so when my mama makes a red velvet cake, it ain't nothing like your mama's. My mama's is the best. That's what we want. We want to uh, pass these on down and pass them to our children, our grandchildren, and hopefully uh, none of these traditions will be lost. Another thing about this program we're trying to do is I myself, uh, in this household, we are trying to live uh, intentional. We're trying to live with less and we are trying to have less waste. Um, so we we work really hard on that. Uh, we are trying to teach our uh, the children in this home and our grandchildren that it's not all about money, although money's great and uh, it provides lots of nice things. Uh, you don't have to be wide open 24-7. You can slow down and enjoy life uh, and that's really what I want to pass along it was so hard for me uh, to enjoy life the last 30 years uh, if I enjoyed life it was closing the restaurant and getting away for a quick trip rushing back and getting right back in the grind again and uh, I wished I had known uh, that I didn't have to do all that uh, but it was it was good. I'm not saying anything bad about it. It provided well for us, 
and we had made some lifelong friends from Teresa's, and uh, it was a great life for us. Um, I just want people to know that you can slow down and breathe. So, that's kind of what our intentions are with this. If you are interested in that and interested in seeing our journey of that, uh, we appreciate you so much. Um, also, we have something called Patreon. And that is a site where you can go to and donate to our cause. Uh, Clinton, my youngest son, is doing all the filming. Uh, he does all the editing. Um, he takes care of all the website uh, posting, doing all of that stuff he does on his time. So this helps him out a little bit. And um, he has also just, we have talked so much about just learning to do what you love. And sometimes if you do what you love, you learn to do with less. Uh, because you're probably, if you're very fortunate, you're going to love what you do and make great money. Uh, most people do what they love and they learn to live in their means. And uh, that's what Clint and I have talked about. And he decided, you know, writing is his passion. That's his passion. Um, so rather than keep being disappointed at never doing enough for some people in the uh, workplace... Uh, he's opened his own business, and it is called CWW Writing LLC. Woohoo! <laughs> that is a mouthful. <laughs> but Clinton uh, is very talented young man, and if you all have watched him grow up, you know that uh, he is. Um, he loves to write. He's got a few books that he's written. Uh, and we kept waiting for the time to publish them, and he found out about Amazon self-publishing. So he's published three books in the last couple years. Um, so this is his business. He is doing everything from um, filming to uh, editing to making logos, digitizing logos, um, making resumes if it has to do with writing and promoting yourself he's your guy so give him a look and um, if you have business i'd appreciate if you pass it his way um so today i don't think i've even got to what we're making we are making fried apple pies and they have been a favorite uh for years and a favorite at Teresa's. And we always uh, did them around this time of year, usually around in October is when we would start them. And Grandma Elkins loved helping me make fried pies, uh, Miss Gwendolyn Elkins. And we all called her Grandma. She was in her 90s, and she came to work at Teresa's every day. She actually got there before I did. And she loved to help me cook. And... Uh, I would try to pay her, and she would say, if I needed money, I'd go get a real job. Uh, but fried apple pies was one of the things she loved to help me make, and uh, we sold a lot of them. And uh, thank you, Grandma. I'm thinking about you today. Uh, so we're, uh, we found a real easy uh, recipe. You know, I've had to learn to uh, measure things, and uh, that's been a little bit of a challenge for me. Uh, actually, uh, Clint will probably show it on bloopers one day. We tried this last week, and I don't know what I did wrong, but when I put the fried pies in the skillet, they just fell all apart. And I thought maybe my grease wasn't hot enough, so we tried it again, and they fell all apart, and I had cut. <laughs> you know, I just went crazy. This, something's not right. Uh, so hopefully today that's going to work out a little bit better. Uh, so we're getting ready to head to the kitchen and make fried apple pies today. I always like to add a little something uh, uplifting and uh, hopefully to help somebody. Um, you know, we've, we've talked about the times being so unsettling and uh, we've talked about our family and how depression is such a... Um, I don't know the word I'm looking for. It's so relevant, I guess, in our household. Um, you know, but we have suffered a lot of loss uh, in a short period of time. And that's, uh, a lot of times it's really hard to 
come to terms with that and what's all this about, you know. Um, so I always like to do a little something um, encouraging and hopeful for people. Um, and today we are using again the little prayer cards that my friend Margaret got for me. And I've told y'all the story about Margaret. You know, she came to work telling me years ago in the 90s that she knew how to wait tables and she couldn't do anything. Uh, so I ended up taking her home to babysit for the summer and we have been friends ever since. Um, so she's a, a beautiful girl who has grown up into a wonderful woman and uh, she always thinks of me and sends me little things. So today's saying is, for with God all things are possible. And that comes from um, the Holy Bible, Mark uh, chapter 10, 27. Uh, for with God, all things are possible. And for me, what that means is, I have tried on my own to do so much. Uh, I have tried and tried and tried to help people. And sometimes people just don't want help. They're fine right where they're at. And it has been a true lesson for me to learn that people do not need me to fix them. I mean, it, it has taken me years to learn that, guys. You know, I just thought because I had the drive that I had that everybody should have that. And that's just not true. Some people are absolutely fine where they're at. Uh, so when you can uh, give somebody a hand up, do that and leave them alone. Uh, it is not our place to drag them. Because uh, all that does is disappoint you. And um, life is too short to live in disappointment all the time. Um, I know in my own life, um, with uh, where I was at and where I ended up, um, I was not supposed to have a successful business. Uh, I came from a broken home. I came from an alcoholic home. Um, I got pregnant uh, early, 17, uh, out of wedlock. Uh, all of the odds were stacked against me. And um, I was successful. I made it. Uh, successful to me was raising my family with uh, all that we needed and helping people along the way. So I, I count myself very successful. Um, so I got to a point where I was unhappy. And I finally had to come to terms with this world is bigger than what Teresa can do. And that's when I found out about uh, God. That I do believe in God. And I do believe there's somebody bigger out there than me. And what a weight that has lifted off of my shoulders. That I can only do what I can do. And that's all he expects of me. Is for me to do my little part. And if we all do that, uh, this really is going to be a, a better world if we would all do our part. Um, so thank you for listening to me ramble today. Again, that comes from um, Mark chapter 10, verse 27. I love you guys. Let's go chop up some apples. Hi, guys. This is Teresa, and we're in Teresa's kitchen. And we are going to mix up some fried apple pies today. The fall is in the air. These nice crisp days or mornings. And um, fried apple pies are an old time favorite. Um, they're great for a cup of coffee or a glass of milk. And uh, the cinnamon in them. Uh, just good. Good for fall time. Um, Thank you to my sister Melissa at Melissa's Country Cafe. Uh, Clint and I went out and had breakfast with her today, and she had me a little surprise, had me a new apron. So thank you very much, Melissa Gale. Uh, I pray you have a blessed day today and make lots of money. So we're going to go ahead and make our dough uh, for our pies, and it needs to uh, chill for 30 minutes. 
So we're going to go ahead and mix that up, uh, and then we're going to uh, come back and make our pie filling. Um, so here we go. We're going to get started. Uh, we're going to take two cups of all-purpose flour, and we're going to add that in here, like so. And then we are going to add a fourth of a cup of white sugar right in there like that and we are going to add one tablespoon of salt in my handy dandy containers that came from it's new to you consignment and I've got cinnamon sitting over here but that's going to go in our apples when we cook them um, this calls for your shortening to be chilled uh, so this is Crisco shortening, and I put it in the refrigerator probably 30 minutes ago just to get it good and chill. And we're going to add that in here, just like this. And then it, we put... Um, we have cold water, ice water it says. So I've had my water sitting in the freezer. What we're gonna do is mash this up just like we're making biscuits. Um, and so we want our uh, mixture to be kind of crumbly, real crumbly. And then we're gonna add just a tablespoon of water, cold water at a time until we get a real sticky mixture. So I'm gonna go ahead and just mix this up with my hands. There are, uh, you know, little pastry mixers that you can get that uh, help you crumble this up. But, you know, I'm old school. I do most everything with my hands. Uh, although, uh, my arthritis is getting the best of me from doing this so many years. So, that may be on my wish list is one of the pastry cutters. Uh, but that's looking good already. As you can see, it's getting the little crumbles. And that's exactly what we're looking for. We get all the salt mixed up in there and the sugar mixed up in there. Like so. And I hope everybody is, uh, they enjoyed their Labor Day. Uh, we had a great time uh, on... Sunday night, we did a uh, shrimp bowl. Thank you to uh, Michael, my husband, for preparing that. And uh, our immediate, my two of my boys and their family, uh, actually three of my boys, Robbie's family and Mandy and Ben, and the grandkids, most of the grandkids were here. So we had a really good time sitting by the fire, making s'mores, and eating shrimp and corn and potatoes. It was a good time. So I hope uh, hope you all, if nothing else, you got to relax for a day. And I did a little reading about Labor Day and uh, what the true meaning was. And it was, uh, you know, back years ago, uh, kind of like restaurant business. You know, people were expected, expected to work from daylight to dark. And I think in the 1800s, there finally uh, became a law, and we had an eight-hour day. Uh, and Labor Day is celebrating what America has accomplished with its workers. So, uh, it was, um, I knew all that. It was just good to uh, refresh it in my mind. So, we got that, like that. So that's good and crumbly, and we're going to do this just a tablespoon at a time of good cold ice water. I'm going to put two in here before I get started again, and you'll see it'll, we want it to form a sticky dough. I have been, I don't know about you other moms, but in our um, 
fostering, I have three kids in school. That's three more tablespoons of ice water. We have three kids in school, and I have a daughter who is still in school. And trying to do this virtual learning uh, is a challenge for an old woman. So thinking about all you moms who are trying to, and dads, who are trying to do it all, plus, you know, virtual learning. But it has forced me to learn a few more things. You know, I've learned that through life. If, if there's something you can't do and you're meant to do it, uh, you're probably going to be forced into learning. So there's two more. And it's good, I think, to add these just a little at a time so your dough doesn't get too sticky. So you can tell the difference already. See where that's balling up together? You want to get all around the sides. And we're going to, uh, like I said, we're going to do our apples when we came back. We just did fried apples. And I think if that video hasn't come out, it will soon. Um, these, instead of slicing them, the ones we're going to do today, I'm going to go ahead and put those in little chunks because uh, I like having a little bite of apple. A lot of people like their filling like applesauce. Uh, but, you know, I've got to be a little bit different. I like a, I like a little bit of bite in mine. Oh yeah, this is almost there. I'm gonna put just a couple more. Um, you know, I wanna again say thank you all so much for watching us, for your likes and shares. And uh, I hope you're going to YouTube. That's what we've, you know, we're wanting to get that up to a thousand subscribers so you all please go to that and uh, Clint and I were talking about we want to do some extra things now this is what it has told us to do it's told us to make it very sticky very sticky so that right there is what we want right there that looks great so, uh, just for reference for you, I had a cup of water in here, and I used three-fourths of a cup. But I would still put it in just a tablespoon at a time. Lots of things change. Uh, your altitude, the humidity. Uh, so, it's safer just to put a tablespoon at a time in here. And I'm going to flour this board a little bit. And all that means is sprinkling a little flour. And this dough, I'm gonna put it in about three different uh, balls. And then we are going to wrap it in plastic wrap individually and let it set in the refrigerator for at least 30 minutes. And back to what I was talking about with Clint and I, we were thinking of different things that we can do for you all um, that will be exciting for you and something that you can uh, use and pass down. So we are talking about doing a few crafts. Uh, I'm not extremely crafty, um, but I have when we are talking about uh, living intentional and living with less and having less trash. There's a few little things that I've been looking at that I think we can incorporate in our show and it help us and help you. Uh, if you're trying to, me, I'm trying to get my pantry set and there's some different things that I have found on uh, YouTube videos. You go and subscribe to them. Uh, that I think that we'll be able to use. So we're gonna try that out for a little bit and see if you like it. If it's something you like, we'll continue to do it. And if not, we won't. Uh, this is all for you all, for you all to see what you like. And um, you know, I'm enjoying just to get back out there and see you and talk to you and invite you into my home and especially into my kitchen. Um, so we'll see where that goes. Um, 
here's our three balls. They're floured. They're ready to go. And I'm going to wash my hands real quick, and then I'll show you how we wrap these up. Uh, if you'll get a picture, Clint, this is the last remnants of our garden. We have a few more um, green tomatoes, so I'm hoping we get a few more tomatoes, but those come off of our garden the last couple of days. Um, and we are so just thrilled at how well our first attempt in over 40 years has been. Um, so I'm excited about what I've learned this year and uh, about what we can do next year with the garden. But the tomatoes have just uh, pleasantly surprised me. Okay, got that off my hands. And I've got plastic wrap. Uh, clean wrap just happens to be what I have. You know, I buy whatever's on sale. So I'm gonna put me piece here and before my hands get dirty again I'm gonna go ahead and pull me off three pieces sorry baby I just keep pushing me out of the way huh? <laughs> uh, it was so good to go to Melissa's this morning and seeing old faces and uh, friends that I hadn't seen in a long time um, and to tell them about it's all gravy. So we had a good time this morning. And our breakfast was delicious. Alright, there's our clean wrap. Here's our first ball. You know, and you don't want to overflower it. That's fine, just like that. I'm going to put it in here. And we're just going to wrap it up. Like so. I do love to cook. Um, I've thought a lot about this show and how special it is for me. You know, in the restaurant, I love to cook, but I loved you all more. Uh, so as much as I could be outside or out in the front with you all, uh, it's what I tried to do. And the cooking was in such great quantities that it really it was hard to enjoy the cooking it was just uh getting it done and making sure that we had enough to get through the daily special so this has really been fun for me okay there's our three little balls we're going to put these in the refrigerator for at least 30 minutes uh, and We'll be back in just a little bit and chop up a few apples. See you soon. Hey guys, we are on another step of our fried apple pies. We have made our pastry, our dough, and we have that in the refrigerator chilling. Uh, so we're gonna show you this step real quick. Um, I took uh, four apples, which was about a pound of apples, uh, and I cubed them into little cubes and we are going to put a fourth of a cup of sugar uh, on the recipe it called for an eighth of a teaspoon of cinnamon uh, I put a fourth of a teaspoon of cinnamon because we like cinnamon and that's another thing about these recipes is that you end up making them to what uh, your family likes and it's something that you can play around with and that's going to be the special thing that you pass on to your family um, Also, y'all know I'm all about the butter uh, This recipe does not call for butter, but I'm putting about a tablespoon of real butter into my apples We're going to put these on the stove and let them cook down until they're tender which will take about 20 minutes then we are going to come back and make some fried apple pies. I'll see you in a jiff. All right, guys, we are going to finish up these fried pies. And this is one of the pieces of dough that we put in the refrigerator to get cool. And I'm just going to pinch off about a third of that, or maybe less, maybe a fourth. You think, Clint? Is that a fourth of that? A fourth, yeah. 
about the size of a little biscuit. And we're just going to pat that out here. I got my cheap rolling pin, just enough because my hands are sore today. But we want to kind of roll that as much as we can in an oblong circle. And we like to get them just as thin as possible. So you can see what that looks like, how nice and thin. It's about, I don't know, it's thin. And then this is our apples that we cooked. Um, it took about 20 minutes and uh, I just put them on the stove. Uh, I put them on low to medium heat and put a lid on them and just let them get soft. About a tablespoon, excuse me, I got that fruit sitting in here. About a tablespoon of filling. And then we are gonna fold this over. This was grandma's favorite part, Miss Gwendolyn Elkins. And we're gonna take a little bit of water and put on our edges like so. And do this. Okay. I think our grease is hot. And a good way to tell that, and I think I showed you the other day, is that you can. There, that's about right. So just on medium heat, and this is actually on about four on my stove. Uh, and let's hope for the best, because we had a disaster the last time we did this. So we are gonna hope for the best. And here we go, and we are gonna slide it right in here and see what happens. And there we go. That's looking beautiful. So I'm assuming what I did last time is that I did not chill my dough. Um, I had, because I've been in such a hurry for so many years, I had always used biscuit dough. Uh, just a can of biscuits, and that's another thing for you people, moms and dads who are uh, working all the time, but you still want to make these homemade desserts. You can get a can of biscuits, uh, any brand, and you can do the same thing. Uh, you just pat those out, put a little flour on them, and you skip this whole step, uh, step of making the homemade dough. But these are gonna be good, I can tell it already. So we'll go ahead over here and roll out one more while we're waiting on that to cook. So again, I get just enough about the size of a, uh, a canned biscuit. That's a good reference. We're going to put it out here, and we're going to roll it. I usually just pat these out with my hands, but my hands are bothering me today. So we're going to do it like this. And you want to try to get it an oblong circle. We're going to cook these fried pies on... Like I said, I've got mine on for my stove, and it will take them about three or four minutes per side. And it, that, excuse me, all depends on your heat, the heat on your stove, and how brown you like them. So there's another, about a tablespoon full. And I did that wrong while ago. We're supposed to put our little water on the inside. That's another thing about just learning how to cook. There's really, as long as it tastes good, there's no right or wrong. We're all just practicing in life. <laughs> all just practicing. And these little, this right here was Grandma's favorite. She'd go around here and boy, she would try to get them faster than I did. We'd have a race. Now I'm going to flip this one. I don't want a slashy clamp. 
Oh, that one's a little bit brown. I should have been over here watching. So that's a good lesson for us. I'm going to turn that down on two. And again, there's no right or wrong. All that we're doing is uh, learning. We're all learning. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and drop this one. And we'll try to get it the right golden brown. But it went in just perfect like it's supposed to. Uh, your crust looks good. Even that's not too brown for me. But I wanted it very pretty. I wanted it looking perfect. I like things to look perfect. Very seldom does that happen. But that's what I strive for. Um, so we've got that cooking. We're going to show you here in just a second. I'm going to take this one up. And for me, I'm going to sprinkle, and I didn't get that out, Clint, but I'm going to sprinkle just some uh, raw white sugar on top while it's hot and uh, another dash of cinnamon because, again, we love cinnamon and sugar. So let me get my sugar real quick. Gonna, this one I'm going to go ahead and take up. And if you don't have one of these, it's a good little tool to invest in. And I think I actually stole this from my sister, Melissa. Uh, but it helps you drain the grease a lot better than a spatula or a spoon does. And then I'm going to turn this. Hopefully it's going to be just right. Just right. This one we're going to go ahead and turn. As you can see, I've turned my temperature down, and right there's what we want, honey. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Let me get my sugar over here. So this is a good hot pie, fresh out of the grease, and I've got just a little fourth of a teaspoon spoon and I'm just going to sprinkle just a few little sprinkles and then I'm going to take my cinnamon on the shaker part and just sprinkle a few little sprinkles and there it is that's beautiful I'm going to put it on a little plate to show you how pretty that one's still warm but we'll show you right here how pretty that looks. And then if we, and we will, we will have these for supper tonight. And we will add a scoop of ice cream to these. And that's it, guys. We made homemade fried apple pies today. And um, again, I want to thank you so much. Let me get this one out before it burns. And we'll finish this up. Yeah, this is... This right here is perfect. And that was about two minutes on each side. About two minutes on each side. So there that is. While it's good and hot, I'm going to put my sugar. A lot of people put um, powdered sugar or confectioner sugar. We like cinnamon, so another little sprinkle of cinnamon. And that's it, guys. Uh, I'm going to take that off the heat. And I'm going to say to you all, thank you so much for watching us. Uh, we are just overwhelmed at how well this is taking off. Uh, I am so happy to invite you guys into my kitchen. I'm so happy to keep some of these old-fashioned recipes alive. Uh, we are learning to live intentionally. We are learning to live with less. And uh, I'm so happy you're on that journey with us. So um, go to our page on Facebook, like, follow, and share. I heard somebody say sprinkle this week. I really don't know what that means, but I watch other people's stuff, but I'll just say share. Share. Uh, I would also love for you all to go to uh, YouTube and subscribe to YouTube. And we talked earlier about that's a little harder to do because you have to remember your uh, password and your email address. But if you would take that extra little bit of time for us, I would so appreciate it. Uh, when we get to a thousand, we're gonna give away another It's All Gravy t-shirt. And um, 
that it helps open other doors for us. So you all, please think about doing that. Uh, Patreon, if you'll go to that site and check it out, we appreciate it so much. And we are also thinking of um, you guys think if you would like to do a sponsorship for us, uh, you can PM Clint or myself and we can talk about that and I will feature your wares or your place of business or uh, whatever it is that you would like to advertise. Uh, we can talk about doing that and um, see if it's something that you're interested in. Um, it's all gravy t-shirts are for sale. We have gray in color right now. Uh, Mandy and Maddie, my daughter-in-law and granddaughter are making these. Uh, the funds from that, uh, whatever the profits are, I am giving to Maddie uh, for her college education fund. Uh, she graduates this year. Um, I had at one time uh, started her an account uh, we use that for her car, so now it's time for school, and uh, I don't have Teresa's restaurant anymore. So, this is just my way of giving back to her and uh, letting her know how proud of her I am, and uh, I just want her to reach for the stars. So, any t-shirt sales we do, the profits from those go to Maddie for her college education. So, think about that, and uh, I think that's it. Clint, is it anything else? I don't think so. You all enjoy this beautiful day. Try to take time to look at the butterflies. Um, try to take time to stop and breathe today. Um, this is Teresa, and I look forward to seeing you real soon.